What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a copycat Butterfinger protein granola. It's got about half the carbs of a regular protein granola. It's got butterscotch, peanut butter, melted chocolate, and it's crunchy. Most importantly of all, it's crunchy. I'll, if you've seen my Instagram, you know I do the crunch test. So if you don't like that sound, just be aware. It's crunchy. We don't mess around with chewy granola. It's crunchy. We've got a giant bowl of it, okay? So let's talk about how to make it. Start out by mixing puffed rice cereal and rolled oats with protein powder and sugar-free butterscotch pudding mix. Now puffed rice cereal, I buy kind of in bulk on Amazon, but you might be able to find this in grocery stores around kind of the quote unquote healthy cereals. Then we're gonna mix in some creamy, you can use crunchy if you want, peanut butter uh, mixed with honey. Uh, if you wanna bring down the carbs a little bit, you can kind of play around with maybe something like Walden Farms pancake syrup or sugar-free syrup. Uh, I have a, uh, my original cinnamon vanilla protein granola uses Walden Farms instead of honey. And then we'll just kind of work this together. Uh, and then we'll add, that's liquid egg whites. We'll add those in. And this is a great way to, to get this granola to, to crisp up without adding any more honey or other you know, calorie rich ingredients. So we'll continue working that together until uh, you can see there it's pretty clumpy, uh, almost like a dough. So you put this onto a baking sheet. We're gonna spread this out. Uh, you know, we want to prevent any large clumps because that inside of that won't get very crispy. So break this up as much as you can. Then we're going to put this into an oven at uh, 350 degrees for about 14, 16 minutes. Uh, you can see the bottom there is pretty, pretty brown, uh, pretty got some color on it. That bottom side will be crispy, so we're going to break this up even more, kind of flip it around, shake it up, and then we're going to go back in the oven for another, we'll say six to ten minutes. Now you want to check on this every few minutes and shake it up. With the honey, uh, it can burn quickly, so you want to keep an eye on it, keep your eyes and nose peeled, and then just keep stirring it around, shaking it around, uh, and then it will continue to crisp up after it comes out of the oven, so don't burn it. Uh, just give it a chance to crisp. Then we'll put it into a bowl, add our chocolate chips, let those melt, and let it fully cool before we store, and then that's it, you're good. You can throw this on yogurt and ice cream with just a little bit of milk, or just eat it by the handful. 